So I'm going to show you now the short um, video tutorial about how you can make your image smaller and therefore faster for your website and help your SEO. So you go to the website where you choose your photographs from. I'm uh, choosing on Splash and let's have that one. It says it's in Greece and let's download it. Remember to make sure that you've got all the, the right um, permissions to use photographs wherever you get them from. Now I'm just going to show you um, this picture, um, the size of it. So I hover over, can you see it's um, 3 megabytes and 5,679 wide. Now it's the, the megabyte issue that we're going to deal with um, as well as the pixels if we want. So you go to your um, software that you use for editing images. I'm just using Pixel R, or you can use Canva or anything else, or Photoshop. You click on Open Image. Um, let's go to the desktop. That's one we found. And we'll create a new one. And it's full web. And we'll apply. Okay, so there's the image for the web, and then we'll save it. And I'm just going to leave it high now to show you uh, uh, the difference. And as you can see, the JPEG is um, a smaller file size. This is the size we're trying to change. Um, we'll leave it high, which is now currently uh, 283 kilobytes. And then we're going to download it. And let's call it compressed picture. Okay, so now I'm going to go to probably my favourite tool, Tiny PNG. Tiny PNG. I've got one of these panda bears in the loft. It was given to me when I was born. It must be a rather old now upstairs. And then all you do is you upload the picture, uh, open it and it's going to compress it so it's changing the file size you can see it was here 290 kb it's compressed it and it is 195.7 kb now you might think well that's not very uh, much difference but it's actually 33 um, percent and it's if you do that for all the pictures on your website, it's going to make a big difference. And then you just download it and save it wherever you want to save it.